we are going to do is we are going to unbox the right Ryobi dual flater and deflator tool. Now, recently I've been having issues with one of my tires. I don't feel like going to a mechanic to drop it off because of the pandemic, yada, yada, yada. So I am, I've had for the past couple of days, I've actually been filling it up like about six PSI. I know something's wrong with the tire. I'm actually going to take the tire off soon and inspect it. But things are busy, so I really don't have time to do that. So it's easier just to uh, inflate it uh, every every other day. So it only takes about uh, a minute to do. When I get a chance, I will be taking the tire off uh, and see if there's an issue with it. But for now, this is the option. Now, I did, I've been using the trigger, Ryobi inflator, and it's it works great, but I, I need something that I just could push a button and it'll inflate by itself without me actually holding the device, holding the trigger. So, and this would also be useful on the boat to uh, inflate my devices because I really don't want to use this. Uh, this is the inflator. This is for the shop and I don't want the extra wear and tear, you know, deflating um, inflating and deflating my devices out, uh, floating devices out on the water. So I want something that's designated to that and a little bit more powerful that could take the abuse because I use this on a daily basis in here. So I just wanted something that I won't use very often that the motor just won't wear out after a, a full season of filling up tires and filling up my stuff. So let's unbox this see what this comes with, see how this actually acts, and and yeah. Alrighty, so this is model number P747. My Ryobi knife is actually out on the out on the boat right now, so I can actually use it in here. All right, so of course you get instructions and warranty, the simple unit, after that the box is empty. Alrighty, so, all right, so this is a rubber molding, right, the whatever's gray is a rubber molding, which is nice. There you go. All right, so mode power. All right, so then you just could put it at the PSI you want, which it's going to mine is going to be 35 PSI. There you go. That's a start and stop. All right, so let's figure we're going to test that out in a second let's figure out how to use the inflator really quick the tube could be a, a, a little better material i think because you will kink this if you bend it too much so there's an arrow right here when you click mode if you're going to go to psi or inflator so there's an arrow there then an arrow on the other side so that's how that works uh all right so this uh this says it'll fill 10 uh 10 car tires on one charge. I'm assuming that's with a four amp hour battery. Inflates a twin air mattress in 30 seconds and it has an auto fill shut off feature. Goes to uh, zero to 150 PSI and the uh, 0.49 SCFM when it comes to the tire inflator. So yeah, it's a 7.2 CFM for the blower. That's awesome. That's awesome. So like I said, this is my own P747. Let's go outside and test this out. All right, so we are going to use the 3 amp hour HP uh, compact battery with the 21700 cells. This is uh, model number uh, P195. Battery is full. Let's see what this can do. It's supposed to storm, so I'm hoping that I can get this done before it storms. See, I like it that you twist it on. I like that. All right, turn this on. Make sure the mo yep, is 16.5 PSI. We're going to go to 35 PSI. And start.
And that is time. That is time. Now let's put that in one more time. Let's see what pressure it says. 35, perfect. Excellent, now just to wrap it back up, it's very simple, just like that. And now it's nice and organized. Alrighty, so the last test what we are gonna do is we are gonna inflate my tubing tube. Uh, this is what you use to uh, go tubing when you're being uh, towed on the back of the boat. Uh, heavy duty stuff. So let's actually see how fast this will inflate this. So just take that out like so, put this on the top, twist it. So now the arrow, there is an arrow pointing right here for the inflation. So now we, I don't need the nozzle, so we're gonna take that cap off. That's all ready, go. And there you go. Put that, put that in, put that on. Nice and tight. That's nice and tight. So yeah, so like this is very useful. So yeah, this is perfect to take out on the boat with you or camping to inflate stuff, you know, and it'll do tires. And it's such, it's seriously a small device and it's, uh, the latest and greatest one from uh, Ryobi, and so yeah, th this thing's awesome. I, I was gonna get a, uh, a little air compressor, but I decided not to. Uh, I figured let's give this a shot to see if it could uh, do the trick when it comes to inflating my stuff, and it does. It does, and it's awesome. There you go, perfect. Perfect, and what's the battery at? Battery's at three bars three bars so this is only a three amp hour battery the, uh, you could put all sizes on here but the battery will only be flush between the, the bottom with a four amp hour battery or less so a uh, six amp hour or nine amp hour battery it would this would end up just sitting on the battery but you still could use it you know so that because that really doesn't matter then the battery just balances this out so this thing is awesome like I said this is model number uh, P747, uh, inflator and deflator. So this thing is awesome. I'm glad I got this. This stays in the car with me because only my car is the one that transports the boat anyway. So I just transfer this to, from the car to the boat and we're good to go. So yeah, uh, this is 50 bucks right now at, or at Home Depot. And so yeah, this just released, this was just released, I believe in uh, September of 2019. So this is a fairly new product and I, I love it. This beats the old one. The old one was bigger, bigger and bulkier. This one is a lot thinner. So please hit the like button in this video if you found this information uh, useful. Please hit the notification to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. So that's pretty much it. This is David Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.